And in breaking news, we have an update to news we've been following in Tooele County. A brush fire started by a lightning storm has now burned 1,000 acres. Firefighters are calling this the Ellerbrook Fire. It started at the north end of the Stansbury Mountains and is threatening homes and businesses in that area. News for Utah's Brittany Johnson is there. And Brittany, what's the plan for the people living in that area? Well, Emily and Brian, the plan is to evacuate the people in those two homes if this fire picks back up. You can see behind me here that the thick of these flames are starting to die down, but because of the hot weather that's predicted today and the heavy winds that are predicted to roll in, the people in those homes have been put on standby to evacuate. The people uh, that, come, that are coming to work today to these two businesses in the area, they have also been put on standby as well. Now that we have the latest information, that's happening right now. I do want to back up and show you guys just what this area looked like just about at about 10 o'clock last night. Now, in this video from the North Tooele Fire Department, you can see a lightning storm moving through this area and then the aftermath. What started as a 5 to 10 acre blaze quickly turned into an estimated 1,000 acres through the night. Now, there was also rain out here in Tooele County last night, but unfortunately, none of it fell in the area of this fire. So the flames remain active through the night and early morning hours. Right now, firefighters, they are in defensive mode. So that means they're running and chasing the active parts of the fire. So we have firefighters from North Tooele, Grantsville, and other local agencies trying to put this blaze out. Now, as I said, the winds are estimated to pick up later this morning, and so is the heat. Because of that, more resources have been ordered, including aircraft. So we'll continue to monitor things out here here all morning long and bring you the latest coming up on midday today at 11. We'll also have updates online at goodforutah.com. But for now, reporting live in Grantsville, I'm Brittany Johnson, News 4 Utah.